This is how we rebuild the Mercedes Actros transmission. Fifth step is to stall the gear number three. Followed by synchronizing comb, together with engaging ring. Next is the guide sleeve. There are two different thickness of snap circlip ring. One is 2.5 millimeters, and the other one is 3 millimeters. This side must use 2.5 millimeters thickness of circlip snap ring. Check the position of engaging sleeve, more thickness is at the lower side. Now, install the bearing. Next is the synchronizer, together with engaging ring for gear number 4. Next is the gear number 4. Take note, this bearing should not press more inside. Next is the bearing washer. Now we can put the lock nut. This is a reverse nut. Change the position of the main shaft and now install the gear number 2. Synchronizer together with engaging ring for gear number 2. Next is the guide sleeve. This snap circlip ring thickness is 3 millimeters. Engaging sleeve for gear number 1 and gear number 2. Check the position of engaging sleeve, more thickness on upper side. Next is the engaging ring together with synchronizer for gear number 1. And now install gear number 1. And the guide sleeve for reverse gear.
Next the engaging sleeve for reverse gear, and the fork clamp with sliding pad. Now install the reverse gear. Always change input shaft oil seal when repair transmission. Now install input shaft and the splitter gears. Check the position of engaging sleeve. Install the splitter synchronizer. Connect the four clamps. Check the position of the idler gear, if you miss the position you will open it again. Before installing the gear housing, deviate this reverse idler gear at least 1 inch from counter gear bearing. This shaft must be push when installing the gear housing.
By this gap, check the small hole where you can insert screwdriver to push the shaft. Now return the position of reverse idler gear to fix the idler shaft. Don't forget to fix the lock. Now put all articulated bolts for the fork clamp. Now we can start to rebuild the high and low gear box. First is to install the synchronizer. Next is the guide sleeve. This gear is having more thickness on top, and you should return same position. Don't forget to return the snap ring circlum. Next is the high and low engaging sleeve. And the gear together with synchronizer. Check the position, how to return the high and low piston oil seal. And now return the piston rubber seal. Fix the piston, the slot of the shaft must fix on side position.
Now return back the oil pump. After fixing the high and low gear box, don't forget to clean the oil filter. Install the high and low gear. For more tutorial video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.